Hey guys, Road Tramp Renegade. Uh, today I want to show you how I plan on building this van. So one thing I'll mention, I already took the roof rack off. Uh, I got rid of these poles that ran the length and then I'm probably going to reuse those. Uh, my roof rack is going to be a little different than it was on the last one, but you can kind of see it without the rack there. Alright, well let me show you inside what I've got. and I'll, I'll show you inside and then I'll go over the sketch with you. Alright, so inside here, you can see I've got lines taped out, and this is where all the um, cabinets are going to go. My bed goes right in there, and then that's going to be a twin bed that will fold out, um, and then, you know, become a full bed. This cabinet here is where my, my fridge is going to go, and then I'm going to have some shelving in there, and then back here I'm going to have my water storage. Um, back there is just going to be a cabinet like um, with my last van um, when you open the back doors you had some storage in the back that's going to be that section right there and then this right here is going to be a little cabinet for the toilet to go in um, I may or may not take the toilet with me um, all the time um, but it, it'll at least be a good uh, cabinet for storage but with this I'm going to leave all the panels in um, I know it's going to take up a little bit of the room but I really don't think I want to fool with taking all that out. I don't need to. It's just going to be a camper. So, um, you know, everything's in good shape. So there's really no reason to remove it. Um, the windows are a little fogged up because I was working on it yesterday. And it was just raining, uh, really humid. So uh, with that, everything was fogged up. Even everything in my garage had moisture on it. But um, So it's not leaking or anything. That's just coming from... Uh, the air. But anyways, let me show you the sketch that I've got. Alright, I, I hope you can see this. Um, so basically, here's how I've got it taped out on the, the van there. So these are the back doors, and I measured everything out, and I went 3 inches. Each of these squares is 3 inches. Um, so basically, this is going to be 36 by 75. Um, so, you know, about like a, a full size or a twin size bed. Um, so this cabinet here, I'm going to have my life jackets in the back and things like that. Um, over here, I'm going to have my water container under the countertop. So there's going to be a counter here and then a counter all the way here. And then I, I'm going to have a section that can go in here. So I have a huge L-shaped counter uh, if I wanted to. And then where the toilet is going to go, there's going to be a counter there. But this is going to slide out and set on something here probably uh, to make a full size bed. Alright, and on the back of this drawing, I have a list of all the things that I want to put in um, the van. And I'll go over those with you. One thing is a fridge, a toilet, there's a, a sink. I've got the fridge and the toilet. The sink, I'm, I'll probably at least put a basin in the countertop like I did on my last van. And I may put a, a pump with a water tank. And if I do, it's just going to be a foot pump. It won't be electric. Um, I want to try one of those diesel heaters um, that I've been seeing a lot on. I don't know if any of you guys have used one of those diesel heaters. Uh, if you have, give me your uh, quick review of it because I'd like to know what you've got to say about them. Um, I definitely need some curtains in the van. Um, I'm going to put the gas shocks under the bed so I can lift up and have storage like the last one. I'm going to go with some kind of lighting, I'm not sure what yet, um, but I am going to have to have a battery isolator and an auxiliary battery like the last one. A fantastic fan is number 10 on my list, and the reason it's down number 10 on my list is I still don't know if I'm going to put a fan in there. Um, it's looking like I'm probably not going to put a fantastic fan. Um, I've got all those windows that pop out, and if I get some screens on those windows, and put a fan inside the van. I may not need a, a roof fan. Um, and that way, that'll just be one less place that the van could leak. If I cut a hole in the roof, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the roof now, and it's just, uh, it's in good shape, so I don't want to put a hole in it and then have to deal with it leaking later. Um, I need some 12-volt charging ports for uh, cell phones and things like that. Um, then a, a battery gauge. And then, of course, the kayak rack, and like I told you a minute ago, that rack there, I'm going to reuse those two bars and 
probably put so what I'm going to do with that I'm probably going to put a kayak rack on the driver's side and then put some boards on the passenger side so I can walk on the top and get the kayaks on and off so um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some of this stuff in the van where it goes and just kind of get an idea um, of what it's going to look like all right guys well if you can try to imagine uh, what I've got going on here um, so there's going to be a cabinet here where I can access the back uh, I can put my uh, life jackets and things back in here and my paddles would go up this will be a countertop and then these drawers are the same drawers I had in my last van but they'll be able to open that way so I can access them from the alley with the doors closed this is where my water tank is going to be and so it's just going to have that spout like that to get water and all this under here is where my diesel heater is going to go the ductwork will go along there with the vents out the bottom uh, so all of this will be a countertop now down there where my uh, refrigerator is, is going to slide out on a slide. A lot of you guys told me to put a slide on it, and that's a good idea, so I'm probably going to do that. Uh, and then the toilet you can see is down there. Um, I'll walk around to the other side of the van. See the toilet's going to be there, so there'll be a cabinet there with the countertop there. So when I turn that seat around, I've still got room, but I'll have a counter. Uh, I can use my laptop or whatever right there. Uh, I'll probably put a drawer in that cabinet because it's it's going to be tall enough um, same over here with this fridge being on a slider I'll probably put a drawer that comes out that way and one thing I will show you I think right here at the end of this cabinet I'm gonna put a door here that opens and I'm gonna put all my fuse box and everything in there uh, so it'll be easy to access from here and the reason one of the reasons I want to put it here is all my electronic stuff goes here technically my uh, refrigerators over here the heater the diesel heater that needs some 12 volt power it'll be down there um, I don't really have anything that requires power on that side so I'll probably put my 12 volt charge ports and things like that all on this side um, I may try to fit my battery where I had it on the last van uh, I gotta move some things around to get that um, to get that to work out because the horn and everything is under the van uh, or under the hood of the van so yeah but that's kind of what it's going to look like I'll put that bed I don't know how high I'm going to put it but it's at least got to clear that wheel well so it's probably going to be under there now when I lift this bed up it's probably going to have deep storage um, I thought about putting some drawers under here but you can see that with that um, aisle there um, those drawers may not be useful if um, I can't get all the way in them uh, so I think it's just going to be easier to open the bed up and do it that way. But uh, just kind of give you an idea of how it's going to look. Uh, one thing I have to do uh, before I get started is um, I've got to do a little rust repair. You can see in the inside of the van. Uh, I do get some water coming up when I'm driving in the rain. So I've got to patch the floor and then keep the water from coming in there. And then I have to put a floor down and then I can start building. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to have to put some tires on this van and I'm going to have to paint that, you know, get a new fender and paint it. So I got to prioritize what I'm going to do to it. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, be sure to follow my website. I'm going to try to keep that updated with the builds progress as well. I'll try to take some pictures. Um, I know a lot of you guys like my how to videos. I'll try to do some of those throughout the build. Um, but I'll also try to put uh, some how to pictures and some you know descriptions in my website so if you haven't been over there check that out it's just rubbertramprenegade.com um, there's some information from the last build um, and then of course there'll be information on this build so uh, thanks again for watching and y'all have a good one